everyone. Welcome to my little corner over there is no wrong way to play with paper. I hope you're having a good, good, good day. Thanks for being here. I haven't said that in a while and I just want you to know I appreciate you watching. I know you could choose to watch any other creator and yet you're here hanging out with me and that means a lot to me. So thank you very much. We are using up our scraps to create beautiful embellishments. We all have those scraps of paper for a embellishment swap held over on Ginger's Corner Facebook group. I hope that you will come join us. We have swaps in Australia, Canada, and parts of Europe. I had to think about it. And of course, the United States. <laughs> yeah, okay then. So this week's mini swap is called Book Nook, and this is what I have created. One of the cute little girl dies that I have gotten on Timu. And this is the die right here. I will put the link for a Timu affiliate link. If you've never shopped on Timu, you can click on that and I get a little bit of something extra to help pay for postage for the blessing box giveaways. Or I will also put the link for this direct die so you can go and purchase it if you like. Okay, so there's that. And we're gonna put one together. Now I used my scraps, that's why the dresses are different and all that good stuff. You could um, definitely batch scrap if you like, but I like to use my scraps. Now with these Timu dies, I've said this before, you have to use your imagination, ink, color, to give them the depth that you see in the photo as an example. Now I've shown how I do that. I print these off when I have an order and that way I have an example to look at. Oh, the little arm does not want to turn. And um, I can put it together easier. That works best for me. Do whatever works best for you. Um, so then, now this I cut in two separate pieces. I cut it in just a gray and then I took my marker and I ink did a little bit. I also um, give it some pages. Now I will tell you, I wish when I go to make another set of these, there are little groove lines in this. And I wish I would have taken just like a Sharpie and just followed those lines. I could have got more pages, but it looks okay. I'm okay with the way it looks. I just would have done it different. So first time I made it, you know how that goes, trial and error. So now I'm going to put some glue right across here and this is the top of my book and I wanted to use a pattern paper. Um, you guys know me in red. So you have to kind of create your own layers sometimes. Okay. Then from there, the little face goes on here. I started putting this together and I wasn't thinking to be a hundred percent honest with you. I just wasn't. So um, I did have to cut the hair so that her arms would go both in front of and behind her hair. It gives it more dimension that way. So all I did, it does not cut that way for whatever reason, is I snipped it here. That'll let me stick my arm, the arm between there, my arm. My arm's staying on my body. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not giving her my arm. Then all I needed to do was put a little glue I don't know about you guys, but it does help me when I see other people put dyes together. I just like, like I love watching Ronnie Sue. Almost every layout, she makes her own embellishments with dyes and stamps and such. Okay, so then I just position it and the glue on the hair is gonna hold this down, okay? Then I'm going to put a little dab of glue right across here and I'm going to place it on the book where I want her to sit, okay? Next, we need to put her arms on. So I'm going to put a dab of glue here, okay? And I'm going to push the hair back here. Got a little hairy here. Ha ah, ha, we're playing with hair, it got hairy. <laughs> and I'm just gonna eyeball it and make sure that her hand is sitting on the book where it needs to be. Now don't worry about extra glue, it will dry clear. Then I'm gonna come back and very gently Put a little dab there behind her hand, okay? And I'm also gonna come back here. Any place it touches, I'm gonna glue it to give it some more stability. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, okay? I'm going to maybe pick up her hand, <laughs> her arm, put a little bit of glue, and we're gonna basically weave it in the hair the way where we cut it, okay? And once we have it there, just hold it with this finger and then move her hand, position it where you want it to be. Again, I'm gonna tack it right down here, 
listen to me like I'm some kind of professional over here. I'm still not, I'm still not a teacher. I just put this together a few times. Okay, now all we have left is we need to give her some rosy cheeks. So I used one of my um, tri-blend markers. This is pale pink. I'm just gonna put some little circles and give her some cheeks, okay? Another reason I like to print um, off, you get inking ideas off of here, okay? Now we need to put her legs on, okay? You're going to put this side on first. We're just gonna put a little glue, and it barely touches her arm, so we're gonna position that, hold that with that finger, and then push position her leg, just like so. Oops, oh my goodness. All right, do as I say, not as I do while I'm feeling filming on YouTube. <laughs> That's too funny. All right, then we're gonna go over to this side and do the exact same thing. Just kind of eyeball it. Okay, I think I wanna bring it down just a hair. There we go, and just like that, look at that. Isn't she so cute? <gasps> She's just so precious. Now, this die set does have a um, die. It's a tiniest of heart, but you guys know me. I take my tiniest of scraps and my sweet friend, I believe Karen um, K. No, Karen got me the star one. One of my scrappy buddies got me um, a star one or, and I bought the other one and I have hearts, stars. You can even get it in flower, just a regular punch and all those tiniest of scraps. You can just sit there and punch. Now you guys know I save the tiniest. This is wonderful with stars as well. And then I have an old uh, Creative Memories container and I just put them in here. Yeah, that's how far I take my scraps when I'm using them. Then when I need one, my sweet friend Sherry actually um, sent me a whole bunch of hearts as well. So then when I need one, I can just pull one out. I don't have to mess with that tiny little die, right? And I'm just gonna put a little heart in her hair. I use the lid to put some on here so I can get them to go the way I want. And I'll use my pickup tool, use whatever tool works best for you. And just like that, she has a little heart in her hair. Isn't that sweet? But I, I always do this when I have just the littlest of scraps. I'm like, oh, I could um, do some hearts. And then one of my drawers here is all my hearts and I just stick it right in there. And when I need a little tiny heart like that, I have a whole bunch of colors, doesn't matter. I don't sort those, they're too small for that for me. But use those scraps, you guys. You never know when you're gonna need a little baby heart. Because look, this is how small that heart actually is. I'm not coloring that and I'm not trying to, can you even see that? Look how tiny it is. Look how tiny that little tiny heart is. I'm not doing that. And this looks just as cute, it really does. All right, you guys, that's this week's. I hope you will join us. Um, I'm trying to get these videos. I, uh, my bestie is helping me get ahead. She's helping me know what to film so that I can film ahead far enough that when I have life, <laughs> right, I'm not behind. And these videos, like the scraps to embellishments, are coming out before the mailing date, so um, usually on Tuesdays, so you guys can see my example ahead of time. I, I've had a few people ask me to do that, so. Thank you, my bestie. I love you. I appreciate your help. And with that, I'll see you guys next week. Be blessed. Bye-bye.